So I help pilot an employee recognition program at my own company. So if you guys want feedback, I can help you with that. I think the key to stuff is onboarding, having a good onboarding experience for a new associate when you identify talent. So we had an ambassador program, and it basically shows a person around the facility, um, maybe shares lunch with them, showing us the good spots and everything. That's really, really good for onboarding because um, having a high turnover rate affects any department, whether it's a public or private entity. Um, with the employee recognition program, spontaneous recognition always works best when people just get praised just by walking by. And you'll get people's buy-in, and you just get people produce more naturally because they want to do things for you. And you get more people diving for a bowl versus when the bowl is dropped, everyone just raises their hand and says, it's not my problem. So if you guys want feedback on that, I do it for a whole district. It's just extra resource for you. Um, I want to thank you for the driveway. When I moved here, um, my property and driveway was all cracked, and one day it was just getting done, so awesome. <laughs> that was great, thank you. Um, and then the other thing, the question I had was, um, I thought that was pretty proactive about the active shooter program. So the only question I had was, um, if any of the training is including de-escalation, you know, and if some of the items that are being purchased are non-lethal, because I heard there was items being purchased, I just want to make sure that we're including de-escalation training with that. Because I think um, people have a bad day, we get, deserve to give a chance to de-escalate the situation. Um, what I do want to say is, um, this is really cool that I see so many people here. Like, I, I think it's really great. And um, I'm an optim uh, optimist, so that may come annoying, but that's how I do problem solving. I consider myself a big problem solver, it's hence what I do for my company. So everyone thinks they may have come here with a problem or an issue, but I see it that everyone attended this because they care, which is great. So I like to, I'm really enjoying that I'm part of a community where I see so many people caring. And that's why one of the reasons me and my wife chose, chose like again, I said I'm nervous, chose to come here and start laying our roots. But um, those are the things that, um, I wanted to touch on so far, and um, that's really all I had to add. So thank, thank you so much for being here, actually. We really appreciate it. And thank you for the feedback on the website, because it's one of the things that's very important to us in terms of making it more user-friendly and interactive and be more informational. So that, that's good to hear. And that's that's uh, something we plan to, to do and to work on. Thank you. Yeah, um, that's the biggest thing. If it just auto, you don't have to make it that. Maybe it's app down the line. But if it auto formats to a phone interface, it's so much easier. And as far as uh, Councilwoman Wittes' uh, suggestion of the employee recognition, as you can see, any help or advice we could get would be appreciated as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I believe in human capital, and if you invest in people, everything else seems to work out. Um, and then if it's possible, maybe on the next meeting I can just get the answer to that question versus if there's going to be a de-escalation part of the training for the officers. Did you grab your back? Um, is there going to be a part of de-escalation training? Active shooters not really meant for that. Okay, active shooters when someone's actually shooting someone. We do have those things here for Long Branch um, PD. We do have um, different systems that we use, um, but active shooter training is not meant to um, uh, the escalate anything when they're actually shooting. Um, if they're not shooting, then yes, we will talk and speak to them and, and do all the things that they have to do. But if they're actually shooting, we, we don't really um, expect not to talk. I just got one follow-up question. So if they pause in the middle of shooting, do you activate the escalation? Or Absolutely. One? Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I'm done, but thanks again. I appreciate everything.